All right, Brandon. So we're March, spring football season. That begs the question, is spring football stupid? Spring football is stupid, but needed. Mm. Depending on the position, I think. Okay. Uh, for me, as a DB, you need as many reps as possible going up against live competition to get ready for the, for the season. And so spring always gave you like the competition, but it was like if you got beat or you get, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't like it's showtime and you need to be ready for the season. So right. I, I appreciated mm. that part of it. Yeah. So from that perspective, and, and it allowed you to like really learn the game or like the stuff you just ain't got time to go over mm. during the season. Um, so for me, like it was a time for me to like really dive into and dissect different parts of my game. Like, yeah. what do I look like when I blitz? Or yeah. uh, my technique a little bit better? Cause we, you know, when you were in the season, you just- great. Right, yeah, yeah. So for me, I thought it was it was needed, but it, it was stupid. It probably more stupid <laughs> for somebody like me. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, hey man, look, I had an answer set in my brain, y'all. <laughs> this, this is what happens when we do this thing. You actually changed my mind with your answer. Like how you were talking about being able to try new stuff. Yeah. And that's a great point because when you get in the season, you're not doing that. Not this you're you're relying on the fundamentals and the habits you've already created and spring ball has a, a big impact in that. Because yeah. my original answer is spring ball is stupid. It's the dumbest thing <laughs> that you do in football because as a lineman, it's just more opportunities to bang heads. They, they create all these drills that are all macho uh, oriented. And I was good at these drills. So it wasn't like, cause I was hiding, but it just was tiring and there was no benefit. Exactly. Like the Oklahoma drills or the, the like the uh, bull in the ring drills. Like you don't do those in the season. You do it. We got to find out who's tough. Y'all doing that? Bro, I, in high school, man, look, every day is spring ball and it's too hot. So I hated spring ball, uh, but also the insight that I had was I just felt like it didn't always make the, uh, a real impact on what happened in the season when it came to guys getting reps. Yeah. That was a part I think that just frustrated me for some of the, the teammates that we had, guys who would think they were going to get a great opportunity, do well in the spring, the fall comes around, they're like, eh, actually, we're going to rely on this other guy. Well, why is that? Do they look better in the spring? Because I know it's different. It is different yeah. position. Like when you out in that space, whether you got pads on or you got shorts, if you fast, you fast. Yeah. If you can cover, you can cover. But for y'all, it's a little bit different. Like right. Like yeah. the guy might be athletic and he looks amazing in shorts. True. Hey, but when that contact comes, and yeah. you put those pads on. Yeah. It's a different sort. So was that kind of what it was? Man, honestly, it, I felt like the determining factor was if you knew what to do. Okay. on the old line like if a guy didn't understand his role in multiple players position like multiple positions what they needed to do on specific plays that normally determined whether you were going to play or not and the thing that frustrated me was that would swap a lot so say in, in a spring ball a guy would be playing right tackle knowing dang well he ain't playing right tackle and then in the fall they wind up saying okay what we need you for real for real is that left guard yeah. And this same guy just did all those reps at right tackle, probably maybe with the first team, and now he's not able to fit the need because they didn't set him up for that. And I just, I, I saw that happen one too many times, not only in college, but in, in high school, spring ball as well. And it just frustrated me, but you know, I don't know. I guess you gotta know everything. Spring ball for me in high school was like nothing because we only played three coverages. Man, cover two, cover three. <laughs> yeah, I remember Man, you was lined up out there corner like this. Exactly, like, like receiver. <laughs> Yeah. But when I got to college, I ended up playing both ways. So spring allowed me to, mm. to learn the offensive playbook because if y'all ever saw me get in on offense uh, during the season, I didn't know any of the plays because I didn't have time to right. learn them. Yeah. So 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 Aaron would tell me in the huddle what to do. Right. And it's not wow. because like I didn't know how to do it. We right. just didn't go over. It. Exactly. Like they were like, we know we want you in three or four plays in this package. But you got to learn the whole defensive playbook, and we ain't right. got time to do that. Right. Like, They're like, pros, yeah, right? yeah, you yeah. Get two hours, maybe an hour and a half right. to learn stuff. So that's how it went. But spring gave me that confidence, really going into my senior mm. year, that I could play offense because okay. I knew what to do. Yeah. And so that 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 really changed. So that that 
Dang, that was a good point. Yeah. A good point you made. Boy, yeah, I know. It's it's crazy. Like, I, I went into this conversation feeling like hey, there is no football. way. <laughs> this We need to abolish this right now. But after talking with my brother, maybe maybe there is some value. Some value this in there for sure. Yeah. But let us know. If y'all ever played high school football or college or whatever, Middle school even. Did y'all feel like spring ball was worthwhile? Is it stupid or is it valuable? Let us know down in the comments and uh, we'll see y'all in the next episode.